Whittington, young writer, boxer of the year. So I know that might not mean a lot to you, but I think that's but in boxing terms, that's a big award to win, and uh, plenty of really good fighters have won that in the past. An important fight for you on Saturday night. Uh, your opponent's uh, en route, traveling, and you'll definitely see him at the way tomorrow. A tricky fight as well. People talking about you moving to world level, but a very important fight for you on Saturday. Yeah, no doubt. Saturday night's um, very important. Uh, you got to give you know, credit to the opponent. He's a manager challenger for a reason. So um, we've done what, what we're back to do in camp now and more. So you know, come Saturday night, um, we should be more than ready. I know he's a bit tricky, but you know the last few I've been. So uh, you know I've done what I've had to do. And I always say as long as I've done what I've had to do in the gym, you know it shouldn't matter what the other kids thinking. Talk about styles, interesting. You feel that you've improved as a fighter from fighting those styles. This, this opponent as well, quite awkward. Rodriguez was awkward as well. Frankie Gavin, Bradley Ski, really boxing against your style and actually fighters that don't generally suit you, but getting in there and winning. Yeah, it's just, you know, just just experience of, of, of the, the sort of kids I'm boxing. I mean, everyone wants to, to box on the back foot all of a sudden and, and move around and you know, and it's, it's a lot, everyone's trying to copy, you know, the big stars, but, I, I, you know, it's, my boxing is, is my boxing, I'm not going to change, it, 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 it's come forward, it's relentless, so, um, you know, I'm picking up, you know, bits to do against these sort of lads, um, and it's still me good set for this, for this challenge. The division changing, of course, Errol Spence winning the title, but more importantly, Jeff Horn winning the WBO title and the WBA regular championship becoming vacant with Lamont yeah. Peterson and vacating the title. It's starting to open up now in the division and you yeah. feel like you're only a couple of fights away now from, from that level. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, I've, I've won the European, you know, Saturday night I'm, I'm going to defend it. You know, there's only one way from there, you know, there's only one more step to go. So, um, fingers crossed, you know, we'll, we'll get through Saturday, no scrapes. Um, hopefully we'll get, we'll get a good fight before the end of the year. On to the main event, and uh, firstly from Team Burns, Charlie Sims. Charlie, uh, your charge, Ricky, been looking great in the gym, talking to him earlier, he's drinking, he's eating, uh, made the weight well, or will do tomorrow, and may have surprised a few people in that process as well, but a big fight, and again, relentless uh, effort from Ricky Burns in his camp. Yeah, I think, um, obviously taking this fight, Ricky's been fighting at light water weight for the last couple of years, so obviously he's dropped down to light weight. Uh, he's trained extremely hard. I think that everybody can expect, or everybody at least in this room, or purest boxing fans will know that both of these fighters will be coming into this fight really fit. Um, they're both strong. Um, but for me, it's, it's Ricky Burns' mindset. And I'm just touching on what Conor Ben said earlier. He's, this morning I see Ricky, and he said to me, this is going to be his 49th fight. And he said to me, I'm going to walk into this fight, going to give it the best performance of my career. And I think, for me, walking into a 49 fight, achieving almost everything as a fighter, being a three-way world champion, if you look at his credentials, he talks to everybody. And I think he's going in to put a great performance in and put his, his, his legacy on line here. And I think that's, what's going to, what, that's what he's going to need to continue fighting a world, world-class fighter moving on. Quite remarkable, unbelievable. Joseph? A busy night for you, um, and of course, a huge night for you as well. Um, your charge, Anthony Crawler, have been working with him for a long time. You understand what's on the line on Saturday night. Yeah, um, listen, it's thanks to you, um, Sky, um, for putting the kids on the undercard. Um, before I touch on Anthony, a big night for some of my charges, being told in all certain terms in the gymnasium on Sunday, they have to perform and they have to do it in style on Sunday night. Uh, Saturday night, people like Scott Cardinal, Jose Burn, no point talking about one in British title fights. Got to go out there and earn them and um, show that the back and uh, the way that they're performing in the gym, like a little pack of hungry wolves sat at the bottom of the table there, they can't wait to get in there Saturday night. Um, but as far as uh, Anthony Crawler, this is a great fight, this. And um, listen, uh, I'm a bit disappointed it hasn't had more of a build up as such that two nice guys can finish first in boxing. Huge credit to Ricky Burns, been a professional 16 years. I think he turned professional 16 years ago next weekend. And uh, just like that thing, in 16 years. And if you look at his record, who he's for, Terence Crawford, Raymond Beltran. I mean, the way the list it goes on, and he's acquitted himself well in there. So uh, I just like, like I say, with Anthony Crawford, he's, he's come back from injuries where he thought his career was finished. 
didn't think he'd fight again. We were sat at an emotional press conference to announce the Perez fight, and uh, he went and he won it at the second time of asking. Fought the, the third Barossa, came through the storm, we went into the eye of the storm that night and won. And then he went in with the, one of the best pound for pound fighters in the world, Paul Gay Linares. Um, and you see him last weekend uh, against Luke Campbell. He fought, he did well, and everyone knows that Linares didn't seem to like get out third gear, did it? He? He, he just he had the fight in the bag and just went through it. So, listen, huge credit to both fighters. I think um, they both deserve a huge round of applause for what they've both achieved in boxing up to now and the way that they conducted themselves. So, like everyone, to give man to Ricky Burns a huge round of applause. This fight, I only won't give you tactics away, but people are just expecting this just to unravel very quickly, just to be a, a very high paced, uh, active fight. Are you expecting that as well? I mean, I know you'll have a game plan, but ultimately, these guys are going to go to war on Saturday night. I, I think I think Tony has a problem. Uh, if you watch Ricky's fights and I have with Anthony's fights, they'll all go out with a game plan, but that devil inside them that, and you see that domestic level. You watch Ricky when he fought Nicky Cook, when he fought Kevin Mitchell. Same with Anthony when for John Murray, Gavin Reese. They just go, ah, sling the tactics, let's have it. And then um, sooner or later in the fight, Saturday night, I think that's going to have it. Um, Ricky's a very proud fighter. Like you say, he's fighting for his legacy. Anthony Crawler is very proud. He's coming back from um, a loss, as is Ricky. And they've got to go in there on Saturday night and uh, give it their all. And uh, the fans haven't got the short change Saturday night. Great undercard, like you say, and a great top of the bill fight as well. Thanks, Joe. Ricky, let's have it. I think that sort of sums you up really, watching you in the gym. And I saw a little tweet from you yesterday yesterday saying hello Manchester. You're excited to be here, aren't you? You're excited by this fight. These are the kind of fights that you live for. I know Joe, they um, just again, I'm just really looking forward to Saturday night. Um, when this fight was first announced, obviously we decided to drop back down the late way and Tony had these concerns and that, but I think he knew that the, after especially the first couple of weeks I can. Um, how strict I was being and how much I was putting in the gym um, and you know I've done the way it's so comfortable and I've, I've always said that if we never got the opportunity to fight obviously for the, the third weight world title who knows I could still have been campaigning at lightweight now um, but I'm feeling good um, even last night doing the, the public workout um, when I was in that ring although I was only just shadow boxing everything feels right, everything's ready to plan for this and I just can't wait to get in there yeah, it's important that you actually really wanted to stay at lightweight and obviously there's others saying you, know, you took the Figueroa fight and that was a, a big fight for you at the time coming off a loss but then moving obviously the world title opportunity but ultimately in the back of your head always was the 135 was your preferred weight. I know, you know like I said in the build up to this um, don't get me wrong it's been tough but having to cut back on portion sizes and stuff like that but um, I've done the weight comfortably that's not been an issue. Um, so again, I'm just looking forward to getting the more over, um, and then I can concentrate fully in the, on the fight. But we, we know what to expect here. This is going to be a good hard fight, and as everybody's been saying here, um, it's going to be a great night of boxing, a great undercard, and the fans are going to win. And finally, obviously, you live for these these big fights. You're a huge support in Glasgow, many thousands of them coming down. This will be the biggest crowd that you boxed in front of, and Anthony as well. And you can't wait for the atmosphere. It's going to be a great fight. Well, first time boxing in Manchester, but you know, I've been here a couple of events and I've, I've saw Anthony's got a great support down here. And you know, I'm sure all the fans that are coming down to support all the fighters, it's going to be cheap up to me a good night. Anthony, you're kind of got the same sick mentality, really. You love to fight, you love these big nights, you live for them. You know, we looked at the Monaco card, we looked at Anthony Joshua's undercard, but with everything that had happened as well. People, I wanted you to bring big time boxing man back to Manchester Arena and just a few days away now. Yeah, um, excited, very excited for Saturday night. And you just mentioned it then, it's listen, I'm sure it would have been great to be on Monaco or Big AJ's on the card, but I think it sort of says a lot about us both is that we probably would have been allowed a bit of an easier fight and um, got away with it. But no, this is what we want. We both want to be involved in proper fights and. Um, on Saturday night, that's certainly what it is. It's a, it's a proper fight and it's a fight worthy of top in the arena, which is a special place and um, it deserves a great fight on Saturday night and I'm sure me and Ricky won't disappoint. I remember when we sat here a couple of years ago now, I guess, and we did that really moody thing of putting the 
the the Drake down to yeah. announce that you were fighting Perez, and it was like we were, it was a very emotional time. And you two have, have both experienced some incredible nights. Now, of course, Ricky, a three weight world champion, I remember being there with the McKay De Rocco fight, incredible. And even before that, of course, when he beat Roman Martinez, and for you, you know, the experience of everything around the Admiral fight and the injury, and of course, getting rocked really in the first fight against Perez and stopping him in the next. Um, overcoming the odds against Barroso and the Linares fight. What, what drives you for these kind of fights now? Obviously, you want to get back to challenge for a world title, but is it, is it the competition? The fact that you two seem to be sitting here excited and wanting to yeah. get in the ring now to fight because everybody knows how good a fight this is going to be. No, it, it genuinely is that from both boxing fans, and uh, we both know anyone in the trade, anyone who knows boxing, this is going to be a good fight. This is, it can't fail, I don't see our styles can't gel. Not to be, and that's it. I just want to be involved in big fights. I've had those big nights before, and um, I say it all the time. It's like, well, no, no drink or drug can give you that feeling. Do you know what they do? Like walking out in front of the arena and being involved in a good hard fight. Obviously, I've got a young family I want to support, and um, I just want to make everyone proud. That's all I want to do. The, the support this city gives me time after time. It's, um, I always say, I, I've got to give it 100%. Give up, leave absolutely everything in there and that's what I did again on Saturday night. Big crowd on Saturday finally and last time we